Hello everybody and welcome to my unboxing review reveal of the Crystal Spirits Oracle by Colette Baron Reed and with artwork by Jenna Della Grataglia. And I think I finally said her name right. Yay! Um because <laughs> um, I think I butchered her. I I actually I don't think I did butcher her name when I did the Goddess Power uh, Oracle unboxing. <laughs> um but I think I got it right. Yay. So this is a brand new release deck that came out yesterday, which I thought it was gonna come out in October, so they moved that release date up quick, honey. Um, so, this is the guidebook. I'm gonna show you guys the box. So the box is very, very similar, actually it's exactly the same, um, to the Spirit Animal Oracle, which I really, really love. I love the small boxes. Um, so this is the this is the box, the Crystal Spirits Oracle. And it's really shiny, which makes sense because it's crystals. Then you have a, a, you know, some cards on the back, things like that. And then a little magnetic clasp, the universe, universal consciousness and love is present everywhere. As expressions of the conscious universe, crystals like their creator want only the best for you, healing, wisdom, and the power of finding possibilities you didn't realize were there. Then they fold over a little magnet and you are good to go. So, super cute. I love smaller boxes like this um, because it really fits well in my cabinet. Um, but you have boxes like the, um, the Mystical Shaman Oracle and the uh, Goddess Power Oracle are great because the guidebooks are big. So you can't, if you would have, if you would condense those guidebooks down, they would not, they would be way thicker than this. They would be the size of this box. So it makes sense when the guidebook is really big to have a bigger box. And I'm, I mean, I'm here for that. I understand it. It means I need to get another cabinet. <laughs> um, but the Goddess Power Oracle actually comes in its own box within a box. This is actually a spare copy I have to do spells with. Um, I didn't want to butcher the other one. So let's look at the guidebook. So when I watched Colette's uh, kind of mini unboxing of this deck, I saw this guidebook and I was like, holy shit. And I believe the crystal on the front is Kyanite. I do believe. I don't think I've actually even seen the Kyanite card. Cause like I said, I just got this deck yesterday. So um, I, I haven't seen the Kyanite card, but I'm, I'm like, actually I'm 100% sure that's Kyanite because I know, I know what that looks like. I think I should. Uh, I'm looking behind me to see if I have, oh, no, do I? I know I have some, I just don't know where it is. Because, oh God, if you guys can only see how many crystals I have, it's a travesty. Just kidding, it's not. Um, so this has all of her card decks, um, most of which, most of which I think I have. I'm actually gonna do a video about all of my Colette Baron Reed decks. Um, so basically, the table of contents is welcome to the Crystal Spirits Oracle, how to work with the Oracle, and then cards, their messages, and their meanings. So you have welcome, gifts from Gaia, how to work with the Oracle. She includes some like examples of readings, things like that. Um, some spreads, like one card spreads, two card spreads, questions for a three card spread. So, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's just, it's, you know, spreads. There's a clarity card. Um, and then she has talks about reverse upside down cards. So in this guidebook, she does not talk about it, like card by card, like what that specific meaning is, but she does right here. So um, resistance to the subject on the card, consider it a gentle loving nudge uh, from that crystal spirit to spend more time in self care and compassion around the message. So I like that a lot. So she has a reading for us, um, which is kind of cute. I like that a lot. I, I haven't noticed that in her other guidebooks. I have to look. The cards, their messages, and their meanings. So this is gonna be super short because they literally all look, are, do the exact same thing. So you have the card, the number of the card, the name of the crystal, the essential meaning, um, a little bit of like an about the crystal, and what it does, a relationship message. Each crystal has a prosperity message, which I really, really like. Because you know, like you guys know, I I love the like doing work on like money magic and money mindset things like that. Crystal spirit meditation. 
and that's the same for every crystal in the deck. Um, I'm actually waiting for this to be an app. Um, I always get the Hay House apps. So I'm waiting for this to be an app and I'm hoping that it releases really soon. Um, Cause I saw this and I was like, no, I need to have it now. I'm um, so about the author and about the artist here too. Cool? Cool, sounds good. All right, so let's talk about the cards. So there are 58 cards in this deck. Um, let's see, the card stock is really good. Um, it's, it is different and I can't, I think it's, I, I think that the, I'm, I'm kind of comparing the, I'm comparing it to the Animal Spirit Oracle and I think that the thickness is the same, but this feels more glossy where this feels more matte. Um, I do like the, I, I like them both. Um, this feels a little sturdier, but these are not bad either. Like the car stock is good. I don't know what, I don't know what makes it different. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, these cards are not gonna be in order because I have literally been um, shuffling them. I tried my best to keep them unshuffled um, for this video, but I was like, eh, fuck it, I'm gonna use the deck. <laughs> so we have Aqua Aura Quartz, which I actually have on a necklace right here. I have Rose Aura Quartz and Aqua Aura Quartz. This necklace is just heavy as shit so I don't wear it because I feel like it adds like two pounds to my neck. Smithsonite. I love pyrite. Although, what, so I'm a really hard shuffler apparently, and I've already, already, I don't know if you guys can see it or if I'm just like, like see like right there on the card, I've already, uh, I, I don't even shuffle on that side, so I don't know. But there's a little like, just an itty bitty chip. Um, but this pirate card is freaking gorgeous. Do you see this? Like, oh my freaking God. And I don't even know if you guys noticed this or not, but each crystal, because it's called the Crystal Spirits Oracle, they have a face. So it's like a crystal in the, I mean, sorry, a spirit in the crystal in the Crystal Spirits Oracle. See, little face. I'm gonna name them like Bob and Sandra and Karen. <laughs> I was gonna try to do this video in 10 minutes or less because I wanted to put it on IGTV as well, but I'm just not doing that. Like, it was so stressful to try and do a deck like this in under 10 minutes. Um, so Kyanite, I was right. I told you guys I was like 100% sure it was Kyanite. Boom, Kyanite. Hmm. And before, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and see what card See what Kyanite says in here, because I know what I... Ah, oh, yep. Resolving harmony, diplomacy, restoring... I'm oh, sorry, resolving disputes, diplomacy, restoring harmony, mending fences, and building bridges. So it's a card of harmony. Hmm. That's an interesting choice for the, for the front cover. Labradorite, you cannot tell me shit about Labradorite. I love Labradorite. Like, I, you, like, I don't even know. Um, oh, I should have gotten my, I should have had a really nice crystal set up to do this um, video with, but hindsight's twenty twenty. Plus my little makeshift stand that I always use probably wouldn't like all those crystals. But I love Labradorite. I love it. Like, it is one of my favorite favorite stones. I have a Labradorite, a Labradorite orb that I just absolutely love. Euclase. So one thing about this deck, and I'm going to um, talk a little bit as I show you guys the cards. Um, I do wish that kind of like in the Animal Spirits Oracle, it had like Rhino Spirit, and then it has like Overcome Any Obstacle. I do really, really, really like having keywords on the cards. Um, I'm assuming it was an aesthetic choosing um, to not do that this time. Because um, I know that the Goddess Power Oracle 
uh, has like a one word, not a phrase. Um, but I guess that crystals do so many things. It's like, which keyword would you put on it? Um, so I, I kind of get it. But I was like, oh, um, cause I do love a good, like jumping off point for my intuition sometimes. But I mean, I, I mean, the guidebook is also like 40,000 pages. So you're going to find your answer. <laughs> uh, Celeste, I, which I love me some Celeste. I do have that out. I'll show you guys my piece of Celeste. This is my Celeste. Oh, and my turquoise. This is going to be a show and tell. Oh, no, sorry. That's not turquoise. That's chrysocala. I had that too. I just don't know where it is. This is called, um, I believe this is, um, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm lying. Um, oh, actually, no, I do have that. Chrysocala. I was thinking of Kaisoprase, which I believe is peacock ore. This was like peanut brittle. I was gonna throw that out there, and I really like that. No shade to it. I actually think that, that actually looks really cool. And it also looks like malachite. I bet they're related. I'm not a geologist though. Citrine, oh my gosh, you can tell me nothing about citrine. I have got citrine orbs on my altar. I have two of these on my altar that I anoint with um, um, orange essential oil. Um, I freaking love citrine. Um, I have a nice little point of citrine. I love it. Um, where's the fa where's the face in this one? Oh, I found it. It's like a hidden Mickey at Disney. The face. This face looks so happy. Bronzite. Oh, y'all, yeah, my favorite one is coming up. Green Adventuring. Um, if I showed you guys all the Green Adventuring I had, it would take a very long time. But I'll show you this point that I got. Um, I have this point um, that I received from Zend Out, who has a deck called the Ritual Deck, which I'm not going to show you another deck in another, in a rerun of the deck, but I use the Ritual Deck on um, Instagram all the time. So I had this point of Green Adventuring. Um, and that I, I use it all the time. I love it a lot. And this is actually the background on my phone, I do believe, right now. It is. It is. Um, I have this crystal too. De Mortier. I, can, I couldn't say it when I bought it and I still can't say it. Um, but I really, really, really liked that energy of that crystal. Let's see what it means. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Organization, orderliness, clutter clearing, and list making. Huh. And I can't find it. So, that's hilarious. Irony. Emerald. So, one reason that I kind of like to have keywords on a deck, I have a bracelet with amber in it, is because I do a reading called the uh, Lightworkers Team Reading, where I tell you the... Um, the goddess energy, I tell you the, um, the goddess energy, the ascended master, dragon, archangel, um, spirit animal. I actually use the spirit animal oracle in that reading. Um, and the, uh, and, and a, another crystal deck by another Hay a uh, previous Hay House author, um, to let you know what crystal energy is around you. So, I, the reason why I was thinking about um, keywords is during that reading, I could just look at the, the words and be like, yes. But I'm honestly not above looking at this guidebook during a reading because I actually do use a guidebook during that reading for uh, one of the cards, and I, I have never had a complaint. Um, so, Malachite. I, I have a Malachite to you. Um, I just don't know where it is. But... Um, there is, so I live in Washington, D.C., and there is a piece of malachite at the Natural History Museum that is just gorgeous. It is just freaking gorgeous. And it's like a really big, like, blobby, bubbly malachite. And I just want to, like, steal it. Like, if it ever goes missing, they're going to know who it is because I practically salivate over the goddamn thing. 
It is so pretty. It is so like, it looks like a blob. There's also a blob of hematite too, which I'm here for. This is malachite. I don't know where all my crystals went. Like my selenite. Hmm. That's weird. This is my selenite wand. I got that. I have three of these. Don't ask me why I need three wands. I don't know where my selenite went. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. But I have a spiral one like that. Black tourmaline. A uh, quick note about black tourmaline. I was trying to carry it on me during Mercury Retrograde, the one before the last one we had. And it, like, did not happen well. It broke off in my pocket quite a bit. Big Spite, no idea what that one does, but I really like it. Apache Tears. Carnelian. Oh my Jesus. Let me get my Carnelian. Carnelian. Um, this is one of my pieces of Carnelian. I adore this stone. Carnelian is one of the um, light of fire under your ass stones. I actually have a necklace. Oh, right here. Um, that someone made. And it is... Um, it, it has my astrological sign. I'm a cancer. And it has citrine and carnelian. And it was just carnelian because she said that carnelian helps to balance the emotions of a cancer because apparently we're emotional. And I was like, oh, can you include citrine in it too? So I, when I tell you carnelian is one of my favorite crystals, it is a crystal that will motivate the absolute shit out of you. You will not be able to sleep on anything when carnelian is around. Carnelian would be like, okay, bitch, it's time to go. And you're like, what are you talking about? Doesn't matter. Time to go. So. And we have Lemurian Quartz. See the little key right there? That's really interesting. Lapis Lazuli. I have a lot of that. No, do I have a lot? I think I have one piece. Maybe two pieces. I don't know. Jade. Hematite. Fluorite. I love this fluorite card. Blue Chalcedony. 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 I always said Chalcedony. Blue Lace Agate. Oralite. Aquamarine. Moldavite. I have a little bitty piece of Moldavite. Amethyst. I also want this to be an app so I can screenshot the cards and take pictures of them. Watermelon Tourmaline, Sunstone. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna show you guys all the cards because you know, why not now? Um, Cause I've already gone through almost all of the deck. Moonstone, nah. Um, Tiger's Eye, which I love too, so delight. And then I'm gonna draw a card for you guys. Clear Quartz. So I'm going to draw a card, and this card is going to be for all directions of time and space. So no matter when you're watching this, this card will be for you and relevant to what you are going through and to the guidance that you need. Chrysocala. This is very interesting because I do believe this is a crystal about speaking your authentic truth. Oh my God, and would you look, speaking your truth, heartfelt communication and right speech. You would almost think I knew what I was talking about. So this says, when you speak, uh, you are being true to your soul's desire to participate in the co-creation of a better world and a better life for you. Chrysocala Spirit's message for clear, authentic speech that arises from your heart is this. The force of the conscious universe's love is here for you today as you speak up and speak out. For you can be a clear channel for what needs to be said. Your voice is very important. 
and you are for you are a unique being with your own calling and destiny and the conscious universe expresses th truth through you practice choosing your words consciously as you voice a difficult truth or speak up on behalf of someone who has felt powerless for too long be assured that because of your commitment to heartfelt communication your voice will ring out cutting through the noise today Relationship message. Trust and intimacy build when we have the courage to speak our truth. And today, Chrysocolus Spirit is here for you to support you in right speech. Speak your truth as you see it from the heart using words that express the very best of you. Don't hold your tongue out of fear that you aren't enough or don't deserve to have your say. Practice telling the truth with love as a sign of respect for yourself and your experience as you in your experiences as you, experiences as you have lived them and your emotions as you have felt them. Claim your voice and use it wisely and honorably for many truths make up the collective truth that we all share. And yours is no less valid than anyone else's and deserves to be heard. Prosperity message. We often remain silent because we don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or be embarrassed. But Chrysocola Spirit has appeared to tell you that now is not the time to hold back your truth. Practice right speech, expressing yourself in a loving and honorable way as you discuss your business and financial dealings. Speak up about what you need and desire and what you are thinking and perceiving when it comes to the flow of money and your own desire to experience prosperity. You will be heard today. At the same time, recognize that any truths you hear from others are their truths and have value for all. Listen carefully, setting aside any defensiveness and tuning into the heart of what others are saying. You can learn much today if you are willing, much that will help you in your quest to have a firm financial foundation. This says, Chrysocola is an excellent stone to use when we need assistance in speaking up and speaking our truth. Meditation with this stone helps open and clear the threat chakra, allowing words of the heart to rise up and be expressed. Chrysocola teaches us to be aware that our words carry vibration through sound and asks us to be conscious of what vibration we are choosing to send out into the world. So, that kind of tells us what we need to know right now. So this, that was your card um, from the Crystal Spirits Oracle. Um, yeah, I, I hope that you liked this, this, um, this, this video. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up, please. That'd be great. And if you're thinking about, oh, I'm going to be a dick and do a thumbs down, don't do that because you're just fucking stupid. Um, but you can go to the... Um, um, the, the description of the video, because I keep wanting to say the link in my bio, but this is not Instagram. You can go to the, um, the description of the video um, to book your reading with me. Um, I will be using this reading in my Lightworker team reading, so you will get to know your entire spiritual team. Um, and for the month of August, when you purchase my psychic development course, you get a free psychic ability assessment reading that will be delivered as a video to you. Um, I'm super excited about that. I'm just showing you guys some more of the cards, even though I've shown you guys them all already. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this. Let me know, comment, tell me what you think. Um, I don't get comment notifications on my, from, like in my email uh, for YouTube, so I have to just check them when I remember to. So if I don't respond, it's not because I'm not responding, it's just because I forgot. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this, this deck. Uh, let me know if you're going to get it. Um, yeah. And I, I hope the half version is out soon. <laughs> All right. I am sending you guys so much love and I hope to be working with you soon. I'm sending you love and light. Bye.